Five million small and medium-sized businesses could get tax relief earlier than expected if the Prime Minister has his way in Parliament. Scott Morrison wants to fast-track the $3 billion worth of tax cuts and is spoiling for a fight on the manoeuvre. But Bill Shorten's keeping his options wide open. Political editor Andrew Probin. When your message is lowering tax, a Liberal luminary who made it core business is good company. And Peter Costello has been the greatest champion. The Prime Minister now championing a fresh tax story. Oh, good, My studio. Scott Morrison, good morning. G'day, Neil. G the grassroots stuff. You're bringing forward your tax cuts for yep. the small business. And on stage. News agency or a coffee shop, a dry cleaners, any of these things. This is good news for you. A tax pitch built on a tax tweak, remodelling the coalition's plan with a view to an election fight. The tax rate for small and medium businesses is currently scheduled to fall to 25% by 2026. Under the government's five-year fast track, the tax rate would drop to 26% in July 2020 and to 25% a year later. Fully implemented, it would see a small company making a half-million-dollar profit, saving $12,500 in tax a year. They have absolutely uh, no way of paying for this. A price tag of $3.2 billion, paid for, the Prime Minister says, by an improving economy and the abandonment of an unpopular pledge. Well, we're not going ahead with the big business tax cuts, and that's what's fundamentally supporting this. Look, it's not bad policy. Uh, the, the economics of, of company tax cuts are um, reasonably good. Malcolm Turnbull was working on a very similar idea before he was ousted. With the Morrison touch, it's tax cuts not for the top end, but for the Main Street and the Mall. It's more immediate and more poll friendly to sharpen the coalition's economic message, all the more so if it can entice Labor to oppose the plan when it hits the Parliament next week. But on that calculation, at least, the opposition leader is being coy. We will consider it if it can be afforded. My first priority is schools and hospitals. If he does fall in behind it, Bill Shorten would deny Scott Morrison a precious point of difference. Andrew Proben, ABC News, Canberra.